Hello. एक बार आवाज कंफर्मेशन कर दीजिए हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू गेट वाला कैसे हो सी ओ ए का लेक्चर नंबर टू स्टार्ट हो चुका है यूट्यूब में क्रैश कोर्स में फॉर ईसी पीपल एक बार आपकी तरफ से ऑडियो वीडियो कंफर्मेशन कर दीजिए मेरी तरफ से सब कुछ ठीक है इधर एवरीबॉडी गॉट इट चलो या सो लास्ट क्लास में हमने सी वो ये का कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑर्किटेक्चर का बेसिक मॉडल बेसिक डिफिनेशंस डिफरेंसेस एवरीथिंग वी हैव गॉन थ्रू एंड आफ्टर दैट मैंने स्टार्ट किया हूं मेसिन इंस्ट्रक्शन और मिशन इंस्ट्रक्शन से मैंने कुछ क्वेश्चंस भी किया हूं व्हाट इज द साइज ऑफ द इंस्ट्रक्शन आप कोड साइज क्या है ऑपरेंट साइज क्या है उसके ऊपर क्वेश्चंस कैसे आ सकता है ये सब कुछ मैंने डिस्कस किया सो so, जल्दी से जल्दी आज का क्लास को रेडी करने के पहले हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू अटेम्प्टेड द डीपीपी वन मुझे ये आंसर बताइए हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू अटेम्प्टेड द डीपीपी वन कल मैंने एक डीपीपी दिया हूं आज भी एक डीपीपी आएगा ए एवरी क्लास के बाद आपको एक डीपीपी मिलेगा वो आप डीपीपी किया है नहीं प्लीज टेल मी हाउ मेनी ऑफ डन द डीपीपी एट द सेम टाइम हाउ मेनी ऑफ रेडी फॉर द आज का सेशन सो हैश टैग बना दीजिए एक हैश रेडी बोल के एवरीबडी प्लीज रिप्लाई हियर हैश रेडी बोल के Yes, sir. I attempted. Very good. Nice, nice. So, जितने लोग कंफर्टेबल हैं कल का क्लास में क्या डिस्कस किया एक बार एक बार डिसाइड करेंगे कल का क्लास में क्या क्या डिस्कस किया रिविजन ऑफ टॉपिक्स द सेकेंड स्लाइड इज ऑलवेज रिविजन ऑफ टॉपिक्स तो लास्ट क्लास में हमने डिस्कस किया है कंप्यूटर ऑर्किटेक्चर बोलो तो क्या है ये कवर कर दिया हमने एक बार आप रिफर करके आ जाओ कंप्यूटर ऑर्किटेक्चर कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन and differences between computer architecture versus computer organization computer architecture majorly talks about computer kya karna hai what to do okay na and computer organization bolte hai how to do it is a interconnectivity part computer organization mein interconnectivity bare mein aayega computer architecture mein functional parts ke bare mein aayega uska cpu uska plan kaisa hona hai wo pura architectural features will come under ca and usko objects ko ब्लॉक्स को कैसे ऑर्गेनाइज करना कंपोनेंट्स को कैसे ऑर्गेनाइज करना वो कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में आएगा नेक्स्ट मैंने बताया आपको वन ह्यूमन ऑर्किटेक्चर एंड हार्वर्ड ऑर्किटेक्चर भी बताया आपको व्हाट इज वन ह्यूमन ऑर्किटेक्चर हार्वर्ड ऑर्किटेक्चर के बीच में अंतर क्या है वन ह्यूमन ऑर्किटेक्चर हार्वर्ड ऑर्किटेक्चर के बीच में अंतर क्या है आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग आंसर फ्रॉम यू माई डियर एनी वन ऑफ यू प्लीज आंसर वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वन ह्यूमन ऑर्किटेक्चर एंड हार्वर्ड ऑर्किटेक्चर फटाफट टल मी वन यूमन ऑर्किटेक्चर हार्वर्ड ऑर्किटेक्चर के बीच में अंतर क्या है जितने लोग क्लास में लास्ट क्लास में अटेम्प्ट अटेंड है आंसर बोलना है वन यूमन ऑर्किटेक्चर हार्वर्ड ऑर्किटेक्चर के बीच में अंतर क्या है वन यूमन ऑर्किटेक्चर में क्या होगा वन यूमन ऑर्किटेक्चर में प्रोग्रामड स्टोर्ड कॉन्सेप्ट होगा स्टोर्ड प्रोग्राम कॉन्सेप्ट होगा क्योंकि डाटा मेमोरी एंड कोड मेमोरी टूगेदर रहेगा एंड इसके लिए केवल एक ही बस आंसर करता है कोड बस कोड मेमोरी के लिए एंड डाटा मेमोरी के लिए केवल ए ओनली वन बस इज गोइंग टू बी देयर तो बस को आपको शेड्यूलिंग करना पड़ेगा एक्सलेंट यस एंड इन हार्वर्ड मेमोरी क्या होता है प्रोग्राम के लिए सेपरेट मेमोरी रहता है कोड के लिए सेपरेट मेमोरी रहता है एंड प्रोग्राम को प्रोग्राम मेमोरी को एक्सेस करने के लिए सेपरेट बस सिग्नल्स है कोड मेमोरी को आंसर करने के लिए सेपरेट बस सिग्नल्स है लेकिन इसका कंट्रोल करने का फंक्शनल यूनिट है ना वो एक ही होगा तो इसके लिए क्या होगा कंट्रोल यूनिट पर ज्यादा बर्डन होगा 
तो हार्वर्ड ऑर्किटेक्चर में कंट्रोल यूनिट का बर्डन ज्यादा होता है वन यून में ऐसा नहीं एंड इसके बाद मैंने सिस्क एंड रिस्क के बारे में भी डिस्कस किया मशीन इंस्ट्रक्शंस भी डिस्कस किया और क्या क्या टॉपिक्स डिस्कस किया सिस्क डिस्कस किया रिस्क डिस्कस किया एंड मशीन इंस्ट्रक्शंस भी हमने डिस्कस किया है एंड आज का क्लास जो कुछ हम डिस्कस कर रहे आज एक घंटे का क्लास होगा तो आज का क्लास में हम क्या डिस्कस करने वाला है आज का क्लास में टू इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स डिस्कस करने वाले हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एड्रेसिंग नोट्स लेकिन एड्रेसिंग नोट्स अंडरस्टैंड करने के लिए पहले आपको इफेक्टिव एड्रेस का कॉन्सेप्ट तो क्लियर होना है एनी बडी कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज एफेक्टिव एड्रेस इफेक्टिव एड्रेस को कैसे डिफेंड कर सकता है टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड आज से घंटे वन आवर क्लास होगा वन आवर क्लास में हम डिस्कस करते हैं आज का क्लास में इफेक्टिव एड्रेस क्या होगा वॉट डू मीन बाई इफेक्टिव एड्रेस एनी बडी प्लीज ट्राई टू आंसर दिस वॉट डू मीन बाई इफेक्टिव एड्रेस यस बताइए बेटा हार इफेक्टिव एड्रेस का मतलब क्या होता है व्हाट डू मीन बाय इफेक्टिव एड्रेस पढ़ सकते हैं बेटा पढ़ सकते हैं आपको भी कुछ आइडिया मिलेगा लेकिन सीएससी के लिए थोड़ा सिलेबस ज्यादा है इधर तरह सिलेबस केवल फोर फाइव टॉपिक्स है चलो यस फिजिकल एड्रेस फिजिकल एड्रेस अलग है इफेक्टिव एड्रेस अलग है सो इफेक्टिव एड्रेस अंडरस्टैंड करने के पहले फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपने मेमोरी का एक सेगमेंट देखो सपोज इफ यू टेक द सेगमेंट ऑफ द मेमोरी सपोज ये एक पर्टिकुलर मेमोरी है सो दिस पर्टिकुलर मेमोरी को एक बेस पॉइंट रहता है ना तो दिस द बेस पॉइंट माय डियर सो दिस बेस एड्रेस सो बेस एड्रेस क्योंकि सम टेक्स्ट बुक्स ऊपर से नीचे और नीचे से ऊपर कोई भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं है सम ऑफ द टेक्स्ट बुक्स विल शो फ्रॉम द बॉटम टू द टॉप एंड फ्रॉम द टॉप टू द बॉटम दैट इज नॉट द मैटर आई एम फॉलोइंग फ्रॉम द बॉटम टू द टॉप सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द ब्लॉक्स नो ध्यान से सुनिए बेटा ये इफेक्टिव एड्रेस का कांसेप्ट बहुत इजी है एंड अंडरस्टैंड करना है इसकी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस ओनली द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक यू आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज एड्रेसिंग मोड्स सो इफ यू सी सो दीज आर द मेमोरी ब्लॉक्स दीज आर द मेमोरी लोकेशंस माय डियर तो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियरली इफेक्टिव एड्रेस को कॉन्सेप्ट बहुत क्लियर होना है क्योंकि इफेक्टिव एड्रेस के रूप में ही आपको एड्रेसिंग uh, मोड्स का वर्षन आएगा सपोज इफ आई एम टेकिंग दिस आर सम बेस एड्रेस क्या बोलते हैं उसको हम बेस एड्रेस बोलते हैं सपोज दिस बेस एड्रेस लेट एस टेक सपोज एज सम वन थाउजेंड वॉट इज द बेस एड्रेस आई एम टेकिंग द बेस एड्रेस एज वन थाउजेंड कोई भी एड्रेस हो सकता है आई एम टेकिंग दस थाउजेंड ओके डियर कोई भी एड्रेस एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज थाउजेंड एंड वन नेक्स्ट वन इज थाउजेंड एंड वन नेक्स्ट वन इज थाउजेंड एंड टू नेक्स्ट वन इज थाउजेंड एंड थ्री सो अगर ध्यान से देखे तो अगर ये थाउजेंड थ्री है ना थाउजेंड थ्री इज एट डिस्टेंस ऑफ हाउ मच तो दिस वन हमने बोलते हैं बेस एड्रेस बोलते हैं इसको क्या बोलते हैं हमने दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल एज बेस एड्रेस स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस बेस एड्रेस और स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस बोलते हैं उसको क्या बोलते हैं हम स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस बोलते हैं इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म एस टी एस टी ए बोलो तो क्या है स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस ये बेस एड्रेस से कितने दूर में ये एड्रेस प्रेजेंट है तो इट इज एक्सैक्टली एट ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ थ्री अमे राइट और नॉट एट एक्सैक्टली एट ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ थ्री वन मोर एड्रेस है सो दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल एज वन सो उसको हम बोलते हैं एंड एड्रेस बोलते हैं क्या बोलते हैं उसको एंड एड्रेस बोलते हैं ई एन ए बोलते हैं ये स्टार्ट एड्रेस है ओके दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस माय डियर ऑल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग माय डियर सो दिस इज स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस एंड दिस इज द एंडिंग एड्रेस सो नाउ कैन आई से द एंडिंग एड्रेस 1003 इज एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ 3 फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टू वन एंड ऑल या प्लीज ट्राई टू आंसर एंडिंग एड्रेस एंडिंग एड्रेस एंड एड्रेस is at a distance of at a distance of distance of 3 from start address can i say like this dear aspirants answer bataiye end address is at a distance of 03 from the starting address or not my dear 
ऐसा बोल सकते तो एंड एड्रेस इट डिस्टेंस ऑफ जीरो थ्री फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस सो स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस इज वन थाउजेंड माइडियर एंड द डिस्टेंस इज जीरो थ्री और थ्री एंड देन हमको मिल रहा है थाउजेंड एंड थ्री तो दिस थाउजेंड एंड थ्री को हम बोलते हैं एंड एड्रेस बोलते हैं क्या बोलते हैं उसको एंड एड्रेस बोलते हैं सो दिस पर्टिकुलर थ्री को हम बोलते हैं ऑफसेट बोलते हैं क्या बोलते हैं इसको तो इट इज कॉल्ड ऑफसेट और इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड इफेक्टिव एड्रेस और इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड डिस्प्लेसमेंट प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वर्ड्स ऑल ऑफ यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वर्ड्स माय डियर इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड डिस्प्लेसमेंट क्या बोलते हैं उसको डिस्प्लेसमेंट बोलते हैं प्लीज मेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट्स इफेक्टिव एड्रेस को अलग-अलग नाम है इफेक्टिव एड्रेस को क्या बोलते हैं इफेक्टिव एड्रेस को ऑफसेट बोलते हैं और इफेक्टिव एड्रेस को डिस्प्लेसमेंट भी बोलते हैं ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड माय डियर इफेक्टिव एड्रेस का अलग-अलग नाम है इफेक्टिव एड्रेस को ऑफसेट बोलते हैं डिस्प्लेसमेंट भी बोलते हैं प्लीज नोट डाउन इफेक्टिव एड्रेस इज ऑलवेज representing the distance from the starting address okay so abhi bataiye in microprocessor language there is a different concept microprocessor mein uh, depending upon the type of the processor base address ko zero add karte hai bus interface unit that depends upon the size of the architecture but here maine generalized mein baat kar raha hu generalized mein kya hai at a distance all of you understood Generally, effective address is represented with a square brackets. Effective address is always represented with what? Square brackets, my dear. So try to understand effective address ko kaise represent karte hain? Square brackets se uh, represent karte. Clear all of you, my dear? See, for example, if I am saying, if I am saying, suppose effective address ko main aisa le raha hu, effective address ko. Suppose if I am if I am telling like this, move a. Move suppose move a from any register suppose move a comma suppose if I am writing zero one hundred what does it mean zero one hundred what does it mean it is going to take suppose if you are taking a particular memory location so this is the memory location my dear so try to understand so the base address is suppose it is starting from the base address is thousand. You understand the base address is what the base address is thousand and at a distance of at a distance of hundred at a distance of hundred I am having a content suppose twenty four that means what is going to happen so if you see this particular picture the base address is equal to thousand okay now the effective address is equal to zero one double zero suppose like this. Okay, so now it is going to become thousand one hundred. How much it is going to become thousand one hundred? So at a distance of thousand one hundred, whatever is there, so this particular content is going to be moved into the accumulator, my dear. So a base address hai or starting address hai, a effective address hai. This is called as physical address, my dear, or end address. What clear? Hai? And the effective address is always containing what? The effective address can contains what? Operand information of operand. All of you understand? You understand, my dear? Excellent. So effective address ka purpose kya hai? Effective address kya hold karta hai? Effective address either can contain operand. What is operand here? Twenty four. Or sometimes effective address can contain the information where the operand can be. You understand, my dear? All of you understood. Effective address contains the information where the operand can be. Please make a note of this. Effective address contain what? Effective address contain operand or or information about operand. It is sometimes it can be uh, working like it can be working like a uh, pointer also. Information about operand. You understand? Is it clear, my dear? आपने माइक्रो प्रोसेस में पढ़ चुका है समटाइम्स हमने रजिस्टर्स यूज करते हैं इफेक्टिव ऑर्डर्स के लिए ओके चलो अब तक क्लियर है 
हालांकि गॉड द क्लैरिटी ऑफ इफेक्टिव एड्रेस इफेक्टिव एड्रेस हम बोलते हैं आप बेस एड्रेस से स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस से आप कितना दूर है How much distance you are far away from the starting address? Us ko effective address bolte hai. Up to now is it clear, my dear? Agar clear hai, to mujhe ek baar thumbs up dikha ye beta. Agar ek baar thumbs up dikha, to main next topic ko jaunga. Next topic is addressing modes. Chalo, fata fat. है वेटिंग फॉर रेस्पॉन्स माइडियर नेक्स्ट कम्स एड्रेसिंग मोड्स बिफोर एड्रेसिंग मोड्स व्हाट इज एड्रेसिंग मोड मैं एक अच्छी सी एग्जांपल्स में बताता हूं एड्रेसिंग मोड इज द वे ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन माइडियर ओके सपोज अगर एक क्लासरूम है एक क्लासरूम में एक बच्चा और एक स्टूडेंट है एक स्टूडेंट को मैं कैसे आंसर कर सकता कैसे कैसे एड्रेस कर सकता हूं ओके okay? पहले स्टूडेंट है एक अननोन स्टूडेंट है एक स्टूडेंट को एक फैकल्टी कैसे एड्रेस करते हैं बताइए बेटा हाउ ए स्टूडेंट कैन बी एड्रेस देयर इज अ क्लासरूम ऑफ 60 मेंबर्स देयर इज अ क्लासरूम ऑफ 60 स्टूडेंट्स फैकल्टी इज टीचिंग एंड फैकल्टी वांट्स टू एड्रेस अ स्टूडेंट ही वांट्स टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन टू अ स्टूडेंट सो हाउ ए फैकल्टी कैन एड्रेस द स्टूडेंट फुल फॉर्म ऑफ सीओए प्लीज सर फाइंड आउट Find out COA का full form and please come here. Don't make unnecessary noise here. COA का full form क्या है? पहले पता के इधर आ जाए. Okay? Computer organization and architecture, my dear. चलो. Faculty wants to address. Faculty wants to address a particular student. ये student को address करने के लिए faculty के पास क्या-क्या options हैं? कैसे option? कैसे student को address कर सकते हैं? बताइए. A student can be addressed by a faculty in what ways? Either the faculty can call that particular student by his name, yes or not? A student can be called by his name, or a student can be called by his uh, hall ticket number, rule number, or the student can be called by certain designation, is a topper of the class, CR of the class, yes or not? Or the student can be called by suppose a nickname also. Do you understand? A particular student in a classroom can be accessible by the faculty with different ways. Either the student can be called by the name or by the rule number or by the nickname or by some designation in a similar way in a similar way there is not a one way right there is not a one way there are many ways to access a student similarly a instruction ko represent karna instruction instruction ko represent karne ke liye there are different ways okay so the different ways of the different ways of representing the instruction or in a single word the way of representing the instruction we can call it as the way of the way of representing a instruction please make a note of this point my dear the way of representing a instruction agar dhyan se dekho to instruction bolo to kya kya hoga maine kal bataya aapko instruction bolo to kya kya hoga instruction bolo to basically aapko kya kya hoga instruction bolo to aapko aap code hoga and instruction bolo to aapko operands hoga do or teen operands hoga so especially how this operands can be specifically represented okay specifying the location try to understand specifying the location of an operand in an instruction in different ways we can specify the location of operand in a Actually speaking, the way of representing an instruction, instruction में दो बात है, एक आप कोड है and operand है, so this is our operand my dear, so ये operand को access करने के लिए हमारे पास different तरीका है, so this the operand field है, operand operands है, ये operands को दिखाने के लिए there are different ways है, वो ways को हम बोलते हैं addressing modes बोलते हैं, वो operands को हम directly memory के साथ represent कर सकते हैं ऑपरेंट्स को रजिस्टर के फॉर्मेट में रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं ऑपरेंट्स को इमीडिएट नंबर से रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं ऑपरेंट्स को इफेक्टिव एड्रेस से रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं समटाइम्स बिना ऑपरेंट भी रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं समझ गए आपको बेटा यस आर नॉट यू अंडरस्टैंड आई कैन फिक्स दैट ऑपरेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ नंबर 
I can fix that operand in the form of a register. I can fix that operand in the form of an address directly or I can fix that operand in the form of an address indirectly or I can fix without operand also. This is called different ways of representing an instruction. Broadly speaking, different ways of representing instruction. Narrowly speaking, different ways of representing how a operand can be specified. If you got it. So, there are different set of addressing modes my dear. There are different types of addressing modes. Almost 10 to 11 types of addressing modes are there. I have to classify it and you can simple ka format. Mein dekh rao. Okay. So, these are the types of addressing modes. So, please make a note. Fata -fata. आज का क्लास में मैं मैक्सिमम कंप्लीट करने की कोशिश करता हूं अगर आज का क्लास में पूरा नहीं हुए तो नेक्स्ट क्लास में पढ़ाएंगे प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आपको कंटेंट की सेटिस्फैक्शन होना है टाइम टाइम इज नॉट द मैटर द फर्स्ट वन इज इंप्लाइड एड्रेसिंग मोड प्लीज मेक अ नोट ऑफ इट सेकंड वन इज द स्टैक एड्रेसिंग मोड थर्ड वन इज द इमीडिएट एड्रेसिंग मोड फोर्थ वन इज द डायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग मोड फिफ्थ वन इज द इनडायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग मोड सिक्स्थ वन इज रजिस्टर डायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग मोड Seventh one is a register indirect addressing mode. Okay, my dear. And this particular things can be classified, actually speaking, they can be classified into two ways. This is one classification we can say, and this is another classification we can say. Okay, my dear. So this is classification one up to seven. So uskam bolte hai non-computation, my dear. Kya bolte usko? Non-computational addressing. Non-computational addressing, non-computational addressing mode and 8 to 12 come bolte hai, computational addressing modes bolte hai, computational addressing modes. Uska madalam kya hai, ye first 7 addressing modes hai na, ye first 7 addressing modes mein memory ko calculate karne ki jarurat nahi hai, no need of, no need of, no need of address calculation. Address calculation ka necessity nahi hai. But here computational mein need of need of address. Kiska? Kiska operand ka? Kiska address? Operand ka address. Need of calculation need of calculation per operand address. All of you understood, my dear. Of course, abhi to aapko basic hai when you are starting into the depth of the addressing modes, aapko pata chalega. So, I think some of these addressing modes already you have covered in a microprocessor. Yes or not? I think some of the people have completed, some of the people may be having an idea. Some log, uh, usko kuch idea rata hai, microprocessor mein pad chuka hai. Lekin, wo, microprocessor is a specific architecture. It's a 8 bit architecture ho sakta hai, 16 bit architecture ho sakta hai, 32 bit architecture ho hai. See, wo mein, कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में हम माइक्रोप्रोसेसर का रेफरेंस लेके समझने की कोशिश कर सकते हैं लेकिन सीओ इज अ जनरलाइज्ड वे इन अ जनरलाइज्ड वे वी आर गोइंग टू टीच वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टेक ए स्पेसिफिक माइक्रोप्रोसेसर एड्रेसिंग मोड्स वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इन अ जनरलाइज्ड वे द इंस्ट्रक्शन का रिप्रेजेंटेशन रिप्रेजेंटेशन में भी डिफरिंग फ्रॉम योर माइक्रोप्रोसेसर रिप्रेजेंटेशन बिकॉज़ हियर जो कुछ भी हो ए आर्किटेक्चर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू में मैंने इंस्ट्रक्शन को रिप्रेजेंट करना चाहता हूं क्लियर माय डियर चलो लेट अस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वन all of, you, all of you are following my dear, everybody is following or not? Ji, all of you are following or not? But I list it, dual addressing modes ka list it, ek ke baad ek am discuss karenge. So first we will start with implied or implicit addressing mode. Chal. So first one is implied addressing mode my dear. What is this implied addressing mode? In implied addressing mode, there will be, there will be, no question of operands. The op code itself will specify the operation to be done. All of you are following. Implied may, it is also called implicit. Am kya bol sakte hai? Am aisa bol sakte hai? No need of operands. No need of operands. Please fada fada answer kar dije beta. No need of operands. Op code itself. Op code itself. Op code is self representation, self representation of operation. Please make a note of these points. Fadafat. Ek expected question hai. 
which of the following addressing modes which of the following addressing mode does not involve any operands does not involve any operand the answer is what implied addressing mode for example aapne dekho a instruction dekho the instruction cma how many of you know this instruction cma i think you have studied somewhere how many of you know this instruction cma what is this cma my dear cma padha tha cma instruction pad liya aapne what is this instruction cma see instructions like cma cma means what there is only opcode my dear that means if you see yesterday humne discuss kiya hai instruction ka format kaisa ho sakta hai so this is a instruction format my dear so this is our opcode and this is our operand this is our operand fields address fields see here so this is our opcode suppose if i am taking a three byte instruction so this is our address 1 this is our address 1 or this is our address 2 this is our address 3 but i am not using this all you understand i am not using this all i am not using this i am not using this i am not using this i am using only opcode then usko hum bolte hain implied addressing example hai cma cm ka matlab kya hai cm ka matlab kya hai cma means complement accumulator complement accumulator my dear we are not entering into the operation of registers my dear ye microprocessor ka subject nahi hai okay we are not entering into microprocessor instruction lekin hum example ke parme halt h l t halt this also n o p no operation and i think all of you know clear interrupt c l i clear interrupt yesterday we discussed kiya hai enable interrupt sorry enable interrupt disable interrupt so these are some standard instructions beta jo kuch bhi processor ko whether it is a 8085 processor or 8086 processor 8051 controller processor or microcontrollers mein thode instructions aisa hota hai unke liye aap operand ka zarurat nahi hai clear ho gaya clear ho gaya all of you understood my dear या इसमें एक सब ऑर्डिनेट एड्रेसिंग मोड है आला फिर फॉलोइंग बेटा प्लीज ट्राई टू रिएक्ट ट्राई टू इंटरेक्ट विथ मी आला फिर फॉलोड प्लीज शो योर रिस्पॉन्स आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर रिस्पॉन्स माय डियर फटाफट इसमें एक सब एड्रेसिंग मोड है दैट इज व्हाट वी कॉल स्टैक सो इफ यू सी द स्टैक एड्रेसिंग मोड देयर इज वन मोर एड्रेसिंग मोड कॉल्ड स्टैक एड्रेसिंग मोड प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सेकंड एड्रेसिंग मोड है स्टैक एड्रेसिंग मोड ये स्टैक एड्रेसिंग मोड आल्सो एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन में हमको ऑपरेंड नहीं रहेगा प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग जितने लोग माइक्रोप्रोसेसर से ये सीओ का सब्जेक्ट को कंपेयर कर रहे हो उनको एक शॉक लगेगा स्टैक एड्रेसिंग मोड ये सुना आपने माइक्रोप्रोसेसर में नहीं मिलेगा आपको स्टैक एड्रेसिंग मोड देर आर सर्टेन इंस्ट्रक्शन देर आर सर्टेन प्रोसेसर्स देर आर सर्टेन ओल्डेस्ट प्रोसेसर देर आर सर्टेन आर्किटेक्चर्स विच डज नॉट इन्वॉल्व एनी ऑपरेंट्स सी एड मैं बोल रहा हूं वेन आई से एड देर आर नो ऑपरेंट सो किसको एड करना है कहां से एड करना है ओके सर ये कंटेंट तो हमारा अक्यूमुलेटर है बट लेकिन किसको ऐड करना है इवन अक्यूमुलेटर इज आल्सो नॉट मेंशन सो दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल स्टैक सपोर्टेड आर्किटेक्चर इन अ स्टैक सपोर्टेड आर्किटेक्चर माय डियर इफ यू सी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर देयर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एक्सपेक्टिंग अ क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज आवर स्टैक माय डियर ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज आवर स्टैक सो स्टैक ऑलवेज फॉलोस वन कांसेप्ट कॉल्ड टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक सो दिस इज द टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक माय डियर So on the top of the stack, I am having certain numbers called twenty-two to some twenty-three. So this is our top of the stack, my dear. This is the top of the stack. So certain architectures. Suppose if you take the C language, in a C language, either you, when you are popping, when you are popping the contents from the stack, the stack pointer goes on. Please answer my question. In C language, if you are using a stack pointer. Either when you are popping the elements, what happens to the stack pointer? Please tell me. 
very good last in first out in c language when you are popping the when you are popping the top of the stack content what happens to stack, stack pointer the stack pointer what happens in high level language please answer my question in high level language when you are popping when you are popping the contents from the top push and pop i think all of you know pushing means we are keeping the contents on the top of the stack popping means we are taking the contents from the top of the stack if you are pushing the contents onto the top of the stack in c language the stack pointer will be incremented yes or not but in assembly language we are going to take decrement of the stack pointer that depends upon the language okay so what this instruction will do this is also looks like what this looks like what implied addressing mode but this add instruction ka matlab kya hai add instruction ke liye operands chahiye but idhar operands nahi hai so this instruction simply pops out two symbols contained at the top of the stack at the top of the stack i am having this is a stack my dear so there are certain systems which are working on the stack based architecture accumulator based architectures are different stack based architecture are different accumulator based architecture may uh, one of the operand is fixed as accumulator in stack based architecture operand is related to the top of the stack elements the addition of the two operands is performed and the result is so obtained after the addition is pushed again at the top of the stack result kya hoga ye pura result kya hoga 22 plus 23 will be added and now when it is taken 22 is taken and 23 is taken and the result is 45 and the 45 is going to be stored again at the top of the stack so this is one type of different way of architecture so that is what we call a stack addressing mode my dear maza aa gaya maza aa gaya so this is a, and please note down this is a very very interesting addressing mode which is the oldest architectures are followed before the c language when we are following the assembly language pattern so this one is interesting okay dear chalo now let us move for the next one and the next one is a immediate addressing mode what is a immediate immediate means what immediate data my dear immediate means what immediate data so the data itself is mentioned in the instruction so if you see this syntax so this is the opcode and this operand this operand is directly the data my dear okay one of the operand is definitely a data see for example if i am writing an instruction add immediate comma 10 what is the meaning of it add immediate always remember in microprocessor 8085 there is what an instruction called add immediate this i represents what this i represents immediately so this number 10 its meaning kya hai the contents 10 are going to be added to the a and the result is going to be stored in the a my dear so this is the meaning of this operation you please make a note of these points jitne log jitne log csc ka students hai csc ka students agar aapko microprocessor ka kuch idea nahi hai to bhi idhar aap ye classes se aapko idea milega isi bachchon ko already kuch microprocessor ka concept hai so in that particular subject they have studied some instruction set of the microprocessor addressing modes but that addressing mode or that instruction is specific to the processor okay so this is what we call immediate addressing mode do you remember in this is 8085 if you go for if you go for microcontroller in microcontroller if i am writing the instruction like this move r1 move r1 comma hash 20 do you understand this one this is a this is what the register r1 is going to be loaded with a 20 my dear so this is the immediate addressing mode in 8085 this is the immediate addressing mode in 8085 microprocessor this is the immediate addressing mode in 8051 microcontroller my dear so this is a 8085 microprocessor this is a 8051 micro please make a note of this point noted all of you this is a third addressing mode clearly following yes this hash represents immediate here in microcontroller this is 8051 me it is a representation 8085 me it is a representation in 8086 generally we can write move move ax comma 1a f 0 h so this is for 8086 microprocessor 
डिफरेंट माइक्रो यूनिट मुझे लाइक करके जाओ सेशन में एनर्जी होना चाहिए सेशन में इंट्रैक्शन होना चाहिए अब तक क्लियर है इमीडियट एड्रेसिंग मोड तक क्लियर है Can anybody tell me what is the size of this instruction, my dear? Size of this instruction. Can anybody tell me? Can anybody tell me what is the size of this instruction? Size of instruction. Add immediate ten. This is the op code and this is the operand. Okay. It is going to become two bytes. Next one, direct addressing mode, my dear. Next comes the direct addressing. This is very interesting. in direct addressing mode what we are going to do in direct addressing mode the see the syntax first let me go for the syntax so this is op code and this operand this operand contains this information of operand is not present here information of operand is somewhere in address so this is the address what this a represents this a represents the address and if you go there you can find the operand my dear for example so in this addressing mode the address field of the instruction contains the effective address what it contains effective address always i told you effective address of operand is going to be there for example if i write a instruction like move okay na if i am writing a basic instruction move a accumulator with address suppose 0010 suppose so this is our op code and this is our operand but the operand contains a effective address so this is the effective address my dear and if you go to the effective address so this is the effective address 0010 and if you go to the address in that address you may be having a value 24 data may be having you understand so see here suppose actually here there should be square brackets suppose if i am writing a general instruction called add x See here, what I am writing. There are certain instructions called add x. Okay, add x. What is this x? This x is accumulator plus x. Memory location x. This is a memory location. Suppose this x is equal to zero one double zero. Directly I am mentioning. I am mentioning directly some address. Okay, what I am doing here, my dear, try to understand. Here I am mentioning add. 0100 so this is the situation add 0100 means what the contents a1 accumulator is there and the contents of 0100 0100 the address in that address whatever the content is there that is stored in accumulator and the result is going to be stored in the accumulator my dear so that is what we call direct addressing mode now tell me direct addressing mode mein kitni number of times hum memory ko access karte hain please tell me How many number of times we are going to access the memory in direct addressing mode? Now, please understand. A question I saw posed is: There is a memory accessing is required or not? Does it require memory accessing? Immediate addressing mode. Will it require memory accessing? No. Next, you stack uh, stack. Show do which one? implicit addressing mode will it, will it require the memory accessing no okay so there is no need of memory accessing there is no need of memory accessing immediate addressing but here there is a need of memory accessing my dear okay chalo next we'll go for the another one indirect addressing mode so before indirect addressing mode i want to tell you one second one second i think i have
indirect addressing mode we have seen. Now, listen here. Here, this part is very interesting. This part is indirect addressing. Indirect addressing means what? Try to understand. This particular address is not showing the operand. The instruction mein jo kuch operand address field hai, this address field is showing the location and that location contains effective address and again if you go to that particular effective address you are going to get operand that means the operand information is not shown directly direct addressing and indirect addressing mein antar kya hai direct addressing mein operand kaha rahta hai uska address directly deta hai and operand address kaisa rahta hai operand kaha rahta hai uska address directly deta hai that is called Direct addressing mode. Indirect addressing mode mein operand ka address, operand ka location kaha hai, wo directly nahi dega. Two steps mein hoga. That means first there is an address. If you go to that particular address, you are going to get an effective address and that effective address points to operand. It is a two level process. That means if you are writing an instruction, see, I am writing an instruction here. Now add not x. There is a double bracket here. Try to understand this point. This is a differentiation between microprocessor subject and CO subject. CO subject may, we are not going to take specifically to any microprocessor. Like this we are taking. Now what is the meaning of it? Accumulator ko kaisa karna hai? That means if I am taking, if I am taking this x, suppose if I am taking this x value, add 0, 1, double 0 and again square brackets like this it is there my dear. What is the meaning of it? Try to understand what is the meaning of it. See, I am taking a particular register. So, this is my memory. Okay, na? So, this is my accumulator. Okay. So, this is the accumulator, my dear. Try to understand clearly. This is the accumulator. So, this accumulator is having some number 10. Okay. And uh, 0, 1, double 0 is this. This is the 0, 1, double 0. Let us take 0, 1, double 0. 0, 1, double 0. Okay. Now, listen. In 0, 1, double 0, I have a address, again address called 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Listen, listen. I am having a number 0, 0, 4. But listen, my dear, this is what? It is not the operand. This is not operand. It is again address. That means what? 0, 1, double 0 say again at a distance of 0, 4. 0, 1, double 0 say again at a distance of 0, 1, 0, 4. You are, you are having some number. So, in this particular thing, you are having some data 24, my dear. So, this is the point you have to understand. Or, if you are confused, you will have 2 not 4. That is the best thing. Okay. So, you take the address 0, 2, 0, 4. So, 0, 1, double, 0, 4 contains a number. Okay. So, that address per kya number hai, usko le sakte hai. You understand this logic? So, 0, 1, double, 0 contains, for example, 0, 1, double, 0 contains certain number. Actually speaking, if you go to the depth, every particular microprocessor ke language mein, every memory location contains only 8 bit of information. Okay. At 0, 1, double, 0, we are having certain number called 42. Now, what is the meaning of it? So, at a distance of 42, at a distance of 42, that means there is an address called 42. At an address called 42, we are having 24, my dear. So, this is the 24. This is a different way of answering the inter. At a distance of 42, we are having, at a distance of 42, we are having a number called 22. Try to understand this point clearly. I am representing 0, 1, double, 0 effective address. This effective address contains a number 42, but if 42 data nahi hai, 42 bhi address hai. Yeah, try to understand, a 42 bhi address hai. Excellent. A 42 bhi address hai. A 42 address jo kuch hai na, a 42 address mein number 22 hai. So, this particular 22 is going to be added to the accumulator and the result is going to be stored again into the accumulator, my dear. All of you understood this point? This is what we call, what we call as 
इनडायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग मोड उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं इनडायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग मोड बोलते हैं ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड माई डियर नाउ हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स द मेमोरी इज रिफरेंसड हियर दैट इज माई क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी टाइम्स द मेमोरी इज रिफरेंसड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स मेमोरी रिफरेंस हाउ मेनी टाइम्स मेमोरी रिफरेंस हैपन हियर प्लीज आंसर In this particular, how many times we have referenced the memory? First, we have gone here. Then, उसमें से एक एक number लिया. वो number भी क्या address है? वो address को गया. वो address में गया. That means what? How many number of times हमने memory को access कर रहे हैं इधर? This is one of the important point. Next, if you see previously here, previously क्या है? Previously ऐसा है. Try to understand, my dear. Very very scratch से मैं बोल रहा हूँ आपको. Confusion की बात कुछ भी नहीं है. So here. Zero one double zero. So now accumulator is already having ten, my dear. Accumulator is already having ten. Zero one double zero is address. This me, you have number twenty two. Hai. So directly twenty two is going to be added. The twenty two is going to be added here. That is the answer. Result is going to be stored thirty two. So here, how many times? How many times? Memory is referred. How many times memory is referred? How many times memory referred in a what addressing mode? This is this is the direct addressing mode. The direct addressing mode, my dear. And if you take this one fifth one, this is the indirect addressing mode. Please note down expected question, my dear. A expected question is indirect addressing mode. Me, how many times? How many times memory co reference has been? Direct addressing mode. Me, number of times? How many times has been? Please, fast, fast, tell me. Very good. How many times memory is referred here? Here the memory is referred as one time. Yes or not? Here the memory is referred as one time. This particular scenario, one time. Please note down expected question, my dear. This is an expected question. Please make a note of this point. Expected question, frequently asked question. How many number of times memory is accessed in direct addressing mode? One time. Next here, how many number of times memory is accessed here? Two times. Two times. Got it, my dear. That means the more T states are consumed. That means आपने memory से read कर रहे ना? Memory से read कर रहे. That means here previously one memory read operation हो गया. इधर कितना read operation हो रहा है? इधर दो memory read operation हो रहा है. अगर एक मेमोरी रीड ऑपरेशन के लिए हमको फोर टी स्टेट और थ्री टी स्टेट हो गया दो मेमोरी रीड के लिए हमको कितना हो गया सिक्स टी स्टेट बनेगा द एक्सेसिंग टाइम फॉर गेटिंग पर्टिकुलर कंटेंट कितना ज्यादा हो रहा है इन इंडायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग में हमको ज्यादा हो रहा है यू अंडरस्टैंड माई डियर मेमोरी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स यूर एक्सेसिंग मीन वॉट टू टाइम्स मेमोरी रीड साइकिल टू टाइम्स मेमोरी से रीड करना है मेमोरी रीड ऑपरेशन You are performing two times. You understand which particular addressing mode requires more number of T states, direct or indirect? Answer, बताइए आपको. Are you understood? Which particular addressing mode requires more number of T states? Now. आंसर बताइए बेटा प्रगति जी सेशन ऐसा थियोरेटिकली दिखता है लेकिन इसमें से आपको बिट्स मिलेगा इन सी वो इन सी वो सब्जेक्ट क्वेश्चन आर आस्कड ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर होना है इसके स्मॉल स्मॉल टॉपिक्स पर क्वेश्चन आते हैं बच्चे सोचते हैं मुझे माइक्रो प्रोसेसर का सब्जेक्ट आइडिया है मैं आंसर लेकिन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर का सीओ का अंतर बहुत ज्यादा है CO is a generalized microprocessor is a specific okay chalo now next comes register direct addressing mode sixth wala kya hai register direct addressing mode definitely isko hum bol sakte hain register addressing mode bhi bol sakte hain isme directly aapko ek register hoga the register itself is representing an operand okay suppose for example if i am writing register direct direct register addressing mode That means what the operand is contained in register set. The operand is present in a 
register set. The address field of the instruction refers to a CPU register that contains the operand. The operand is in the register, but the register set hammer pass. This is not, my dear student, this is not memory. Deco, these are memories. Have you seen? This is a memory. Try to understand. This is the memory, my dear. And previously also this is memory. But ye memory nahi hai. Ye memory nahi hai. A register hai. A register hai. Okay na? Top code R. So simply we speaking add R. Actually here, here a mistake hai. Ye, ye square brackets nahi hai. Please make a correction here. There is no square brackets here. There is no square brackets here, my dear. A mistake. So the R contains directly the what is the content of R? Open brackets. We can call it as open brackets. The contents of the register R. This is what we call as register direct addressing mode. Now my question here is, my question here is, how many times memory is accessed here? How many times memory is referred here? How many times memory reference here? Please answer my question. Jaldi bataiye beta. How many times the memory is referred here? Please answer my question. How many times memory is referred here? Are we finding any memory reference here? Are we going for any memory here? Am I confused? Karne ke liye aisa table diya hu, lekin aapko memory reference for either? Are we going to handle any memory here? No. Zero is the answer, my dear. So please, this is an expected question. Register addressing mode may have memory ko access nahi kar. Zero. So there is a question expected like this. Sorry. There is a, it is interesting to note that this addressing mode is similar to direct addressing mode. The only difference is the field of the instruction refers to a CPU register instead of main memory. Instead of main memory, we are going to the register. Okay. So, now here there is a question is possible like this. Multiple, multiple select questions. MSQ. MSQ possible. Which of the following which of following addressing modes, which of the following addressing mode or modes need memory access, need memory access or memory reference. Option A, immediate addressing mo immediate mode option b register direct mode option c direct mode option d indirect mode what is the right answer for this question what is the answer which of the following addressing modes need memory access which of the following addressing mode or modes needs memory access? Option A, immediate mode. Option B, register direct mode. Option C, direct mode. Option D, indirect mode. Do not confuse with the terminology. Try to pay attention, my dear. Try to pay attention. What is the right answer, my dear? Is immediate addressing mode requires a memory access? For example, if you take the number, move, move immediate, move immediate, A comma 2. Does it require? No, it does not require. Register direct. Suppose if I am writing add with B, no requirement. Next, direct mode requires. Suppose if I am writing add 0, 1, double 0, it requires memory access. Indirect add 0, 2, double 0 like this, then is also. All of you understood? So, C and D are the right answers. C and D are the and which of the following does not require any memory access? The answer is register. Okay. So now my question here is in this all addressing modes, 
are we making any calculation part to get the effective address in this particular all addressing nodes are we making any mathematical calculation to get the effective address no that's it and in all these addressing modes what is the target the target is where the operand is present am i right or not in all these addressing modes what is the destination in all these addressing mode the destination is operand try to understand my dear point my dear students these points are very very clear hona hai in all these addressing modes the target destination is operand operand kaha rehta hai operand ko collect karna ye target hai next comes the register indirect addressing mode this is very interesting okay so if you see now it is going to involve the memory indirectly in the form of register see for example if i am writing if i am writing if i am writing like this so here i can write add or here is the square brackets see here if i am writing there is r and what is that r contains see here there is a register r the let us take the register r contains some 0 1 double 0 now if i am writing add r what does it mean what does it mean are we going to add the contents of are we going to add 0 1 double 0 to r it is not mean that we are going to add a plus r am i right or not you understand is it visible to you my dear Aapko visibility ho hai? Mean? Yeah. Bataiye. Is it correct? If I'm if R is equal to 0, 1 double 0, if I'm mentioning the square brackets, does it mean A plus R? No, my dear. It is not A plus R. R is having a number 0, 1 double 0. So this 0, 1 double 0, if you go there, you are going to get some effective address. That effective address at that particular effective address, there is a register set there is effective address that effective address if you observe that effective address related to memory try to understand isko kaise understand karna hai main ek example batata hu aapko main aapko ek example batata hu i think all of you have studied this instruction all of you have studied this instruction load effective address have you, have you studied this instruction in microprocessor lea load effective address si source index register 0 to double 0 both acha both acha concept as evo now i am going to one instruction called lea some of the exams it can be given load load effective address si comma 0 to double 0 now i am writing move al within the square brackets si move al within the square brackets si so first of all let me take the register set of 8085 if i am taking the 8085 into picture so this is a 8085 microprocessor my dear in 8085 these instructions are valid so if i am taking this is not 8085 8086 let us take this is 8086 okay na this is 80 okay now listen carefully this is our memory my dear this memory is having this is our register set first of all this is the register set 8086 ka register set registers are having many registers are there so let us take this is our uh, register this is one register called al this is bl and this is some cl this is some dl this is some si this is some di these are some register this is some instruction pointer like that. these are some register set now this si is having 0 to double 0 so this is my accumulator register al okay so the operand is si here in this instruction the operand is si my dear so this is the op code one of the operand is si so it will go to the si first it will go to the SI. SI is pointing to 0 to double 0. And if I am taking a particular memory location like this, if I am taking a particular memory location, this is a memory location. So this is a register set, this is a memory location. In the memory, I am going for a memory 0 to double 0. In that 0 to double 0, I am having certain value. Okay. So this effective address I am going 
in that effective address I am having a number 44 that 44 is going to be moved into the AL. All of you understood my dear? All of you understood my dear? Is it clear? This is how the register indirect addressing mode. We are mentioning the operand with the help of a register. We are, we are mentioning the operand location with the help of. So, this is what we call register indirect addressing mode. Okay, na? now question here is, all of you understood this point? Without understanding the functionality of individual addressing modes, you cannot answer the theoretical questions. That is a problem in the CO subject. Again and again, I am repeating my dear. Without understanding the theoretical concept behind the addressing mode, you cannot answer. Now, the question here is, my question here is, how many, how many times memory is referred, memory reference in a register indirect, register indirect mode? What is the answer, my dear? Please tell me the answer. Answer please. How many, how many times the memory reference in register indirect mode? Very good. Excellent. The answer is 1 my dear. It is accessing, it looks like it is accessing two things. But this memory is not a register set. One bar register set ko access kar rahe, one bar memory ko access kar rahe, beta. Maza a gaya. So please remember by seeing the words, by seeing that register addressing mode alag hai. Try to understand my dear Pooja ji, Pragati ji, Ravi Kumar ji. Register direct addressing mode mein number of times memory reference is what? Register direct addressing mode mein number of reference address is what? 0. Register indirect addressing mode mein memory reference times are what? 1 my dear. Clear? Simple word change, the answer changes. All of you understood this time? That's why I have taken two classes for addressing modes. I don't want to confuse the students. That's why I split the addressing modes into two classes. So previously, register addressing mode, register addressing modes may how many number of times the memory reference happened? Zero. Register addressing mode may memory reference is zero. Like in register indirect may, register indirect may, humko memory reference happened for two, one time. Clear all of you? Is it clear up to this, my dear? Chalo. So, I have kya bola aapko? Up to certain things, we are not going to have any computation. So, we have not calculated any memory accesses here. What happened? No. Thing gone. Hello, my dear. So, we have covered this now, implied addressing mode is over, tag addressing mode is over, immediate addressing mode is over, direct addressing mode is over, indirect addressing mode is over, register, address, register direct addressing mode is over, register indirect addressing mode is over. So, in all these, no need of address calculation for the operator. Will you please make videos on 80085? 80085 is not in the syllabus, right? Indranil, I think 8085 is not there in the syllabus, right? 
in gate ec syllabus we don't have 8085 right thank you 8085 is not in the syllabus college okay we'll see after it possibly if i'm 8085 microprocessor is there for gate instrumentation students instrumentation students ke liye agar maine sessions diye to mai udhar aapko dikh kal wali video kab available hogi kal wali video same 7 to 8 30 okay so up to now clear my dear all of you enjoyed the session okay so aaj ke liye bas hai ye pura exercise karke aa jao सेवन अड्रेसिंग मोड्स मैंने डिस्कस किया हूं इंटर टुमारो अड्रेसिंग मोड्स टू अड्रेसिंग मोड्स टू में विल डिस्कस दिस एट नाइन टेन इलेवन टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग होगा सो दिस विल कवर इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन इतना स्लो जा रहा हूं मैं क्योंकि अड्रेसिंग मोड से डेफिनेटली देर आर डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन थियोरिटिकल क्वेश्चन भी पूछने की चांसेस है क्वेश्चन फ्रेम करने की चांसेस भी बहुत सारा है सो टुमारो क्लास विल डिस्कस this computational addressing mode how to access this 8 9 10 11 12 that we'll discuss i hope all of you enjoyed this 1 to 7 session and yesterday session also very very important yesterday my name mission instruction ka calculations may i think around four problems we have discussed and today's dpp my dear students please try to access the today's dpp today's dpp will contain more questions on machine instructions again okay today's dpp you are going to get the questions on dpp and i'm expecting jo doubts hai aapko dpp ke upar doubts hai wo doubts idhar access karne ki uh, comments comment section mein doubts dalo next class when i start definitely at the end of the session aapka dpp ka doubts mein discuss karta hu lekin mujhe pata hona hai kisko doubts hai to so, isliye if session hone ke baad agar aap dpp kiye to agar ye particular commentary box mein aapka dpp questions dalo and a small announcement here what is the small announcement my dear so this is our faculty team ye hai hamara faculty team jitne log paid batch ko plan kar rahe ye pura information hai aapko uh, many of the faculties from the gate wala of the physics wala our physics wala organization is having almost minimum to minimum 10 10 years experience faculties and most of all them are ies rankers and gate rankers and different people are there here chandan sir is teaching the digital electronics and Navin Pawar sir is teaching the EDC subject for electronics. Vishal Soni sir is teaching the different subjects like maths, communication. And Varun Srivastava sir is teaching exclusively machines, transformers. Amul Ratan sir is teaching the aptitude. And Sujal sir is teaching the uh, analog signals. And Sonulal sir is teaching the electromagnetic theory. And Siddhar Sabalwal sir is teaching the analog electronics. And myself, I will be teaching the uh, COA subject for electronics and communication. And for instrumentation, all core subjects and for electrical students, measurements. So, I am the faculty. I am going to come from electrical students for measurements, EC students, computer organization and instrumentation students. I am going to cover core subjects of instrumentation. Okay. Agar aap double E, EC ka bachche, agar aapne gate instrumentation likhna chate ho, suppose if you are interested, gate instrumentation as option 2, mere classes aap sun sakte hai, paid batches. And next, Ajay Gupta sir is a legend of power systems and Amara Deep Tanshu sir is going to teach network theory. So, you can loop a bunch of special attractive features hai aapko. So, those who are interested, aap jaldi se jaldi PW app par login karke sessions ko dekh sakte hai. Chalo beta, hum. Chalo sauga maithi, no problem. And uh, for CS students, as of now, I am not teaching anything for the computer science students, but I think you are CS student. Uh, you are following my classes here. Sugat, I don't. Uh, Maithi, Maithi, are you following CO subject here? Clear idea are you aapko? Computer organization ka both acha idea mil rahe aapko? I hope this particular classes will be useful for you, for your uh, gate computer science uh, CO subject ka preparation ke liye. As of now, I am not teaching any subject in the computer science. In future, I may be teaching CO. Okay? Maza aage na ab tak? I am promising you this free classes are more than enough for EC bachchon ke liye. For EC people, this free classes are more than enough. This YouTube crash course mein jo kuch computer organization mein padh raha hu, padh raha hu. 
आप थोड़ा ध्यान से एक एक टॉपिक को नोट कर दो ओके डोंट थिंक सी वो मुझे माइक्रो बेसिक प्रॉब्लम विद ईसी स्टूडेंट्स क्या है ना वो माइक्रो प्रोसेसर पढ़ते हैं सो दे विल दे विल बी कंपेयरिंग द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इंस्ट्रक्शन विद सी वो इंस्ट्रक्शन कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर अलग है कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर आने के बाद प्रोसेसर का सीटिंग हो गया रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट वन ह्यूमन आर्किटेक्चर हार्वर्ड आर्किटेक्चर पहले डिजाइन हो गया वो आर्किटेक्चर के ऊपर एट जीरो एट फाइव डेवलप हो गया वो आर्किटेक्चर के ऊपर एट जीरो फाइव डेवलप हो गया ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट ओके चलो माय डियर आज के लिए सेशन मैं क्लोज कर रहा हूं फिर मिलेंगे टुमारो एट सेवन थर्टी नेक्स्ट पार्ट टू ऑफ एड्रेसिंग मोड्स लव यू ऑल टेक केयर बाय बाय